Hello, online Sunday school. How are you doing today? Miss Lexi, Miss Erica are done for the summer. Got me this week. Mrs. Growth might be back next week. I know that I'm not as cool as any of those three ladies, but I'm going to try my best today. And the most important thing is we have an awesome lesson from God's Word today. A very cool thing happens. What happens? Well, lesson 12, you see it here. God rescues through an earthquake. Do you know what an earthquake is? When the earth is just shaking, going crazy, normally that's a scary bad thing. In our lesson today, God uses an earthquake to rescue Paul. It's so great. So before we get into the lesson itself, let's talk for a minute about movies or TV shows or books or cartoons where someone escapes from something. So the good guys are trapped somewhere and they have to escape. If you're watching with someone else, you could pause and talk about it. Try to think of you, you could think of something, some episode, some movie where the good guys have to escape, where they're rescued. I thought of this movie, this movie's a little older, Finding Nemo, but some of you maybe have seen this. There's a little fish named Nemo. He's the orange one in the fish tank there. Early on in the movie, he gets uh, he gets kidnapped by uh, some divers in the ocean, and they take him to a dentist office and put him in this an aquarium. And he's just stuck stuck there with all these these new friends, but they're all stuck there too. So the whole movie is Nemo's dad trying to get to him and rescue him. All these crazy things that have to go just right in order for him to be rescued. So I won't spoil it for you, but it's really cool. All the things they do to rescue him. No earthquake. Cool stuff anyway. So why are we talking about rescues and being trapped somewhere, or jailed somewhere? Well, in our lesson, the Apostle Paul is trapped in jail. Well, that sounds kind of weird because normally you think you, you go to jail if you commit a crime, if you do something wrong. The Apostle Paul commit a crime? No, he hadn't. It's kind of sad, actually, what happened. So there was this young girl in a city called Philippi, and she was being bothered by the devil in kind of a scary way. And the Apostle Paul saw how hard things were for her, and he stopped it. He stopped the devil's power by, by God's power. You know, the Apostle Paul did a miracle and said, devil, you can't mess with her anymore. And a bunch of people didn't like this. They didn't like that Paul did this, which is, which is crazy. But they stirred up like a riot. All these people got really mad, and Paul ended up getting thrown into jail. So when we find Paul at the beginning of her lesson, he's stuck in jail just for helping this young young girl and making her life better. Well, if you got put in jail for something that you did that wasn't bad at all, or maybe they threw you in jail for something you hadn't actually done, maybe somebody else did it, what would your mood be in jail? I'll be honest, I'd be mad or sad or scared or frustrated. I'd have a big frown on my face like, hmm. I don't like this. I want to get out. What were Paul and his friends doing in jail? They're singing hymns. It's nighttime in the jail and they're singing hymns. So all these other prisoners are hearing them sing these hymns praising God, which is amazing because they're in this hard situation. What are they doing? They're praising God because they know no matter what, God's going to be with them. Even if they never get out of this jail, even if they spend the rest of their lives here, it's still going to be okay because God is with them the whole time. Well, what does God do? He sends an earthquake. I said before, sometimes, most times, earthquakes are kind of scary. This is a picture of what an earthquake did to a road. The earth shakes. You know, there's something with plates moving back and forth. I'm not going to pretend like I understand. I'm not an earthquake scientist. If you are, you could write in the comments or send me an email about how earthquakes work. I love it. So an earthquake, God sends an earthquake especially. It's not random. He sends an earthquake. And all the jail cell doors come flying open. You know, Paul and the other prisoners have these, like, handcuffs on. The earthquake knocks the handcuffs off, which, again, that's not a random thing. That's God, like, very specifically saying this earthquake is going to set them free. So they could all run out. And then the guy in charge of the jail runs into the jail, sees all the doors open, and he thinks, all the prisoners escaped. This is terrible. And he's he's so, 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 so sad. And he's about to, to hurt himself, which is really bad. But Paul calls out to him and says, don't do it. We're all here. So all the prisoners had stayed. Even though the doors op went open, they could have gone free. They stayed in jail. And so this, this guy that's in charge of the jail runs up to Paul and he falls at his feet. And he's so overwhelmed by the fact that everybody's still there. He's not going to die. He's not going to lose his job. And he just says to Paul, what must I do to be saved? And what does Paul do? This would be a good verse for you to start memorizing, even if you're really little, just to memorize the basics of this. Paul says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, 
and you will be saved. He doesn't give him a bunch of stuff to do. He doesn't say, be a better person. Go back to all the people you've hurt and make it right. He doesn't say, pray this much per day, give this much to church, uh, be this kind to people. It just says, believe in Jesus and you will be saved. That's the key. That's one of the keys in this lesson. We are saved by grace alone. So the jailer is so happy that all this has happened, that he knows he's forgiven. He knows he's not going to die. He knows he's going to keep his job. He takes Paul and his friends back to his house, gives them a meal, and he has everybody in his house, including himself, baptized. You just think of how this night went so differently than it could have. It starts out with Paul and his friends in jail. Earthquake happens. They could have escaped. They didn't. They stayed. They tell this people, this jailer, about Jesus. The jailer takes him home, and they end up baptizing his whole family. Man, God is so great. Here is a couple of things we should remember from this lesson. God is powerful and can save us. When Paul's sitting there in jail, things look pretty bad, but it was not a problem for God. God can do every once, and if what is best for us is us being rescued or some avoiding some bad situation, that's what God's going to do. Number two, we are saved by grace alone. That moment where, where Paul talks to the jailer is so awesome. How do I get to heaven, the jailer says. Paul says, Jesus. That's the answer. Jesus. So God is powerful. God is loving. This lesson has a both of that. So cool. That's all we got for today. Pretty cool lesson. Uh, well, you can check out some of the other resources here attached to the, the email. Uh, and But just thank God for this great lesson in which we see God's power and love. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for this lesson in which we see you take care of Paul. Uh, you gave him a strong faith even when things looked dark or hard. Uh, we ask that you would bless us with that same kind of faith and help us understand that you are powerful, you're going to take care of us no matter what, and that we are saved by your grace in Jesus alone. Amen. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.